Thank you, Christopher. And now in other news, spokesperson on education and training Dr. Angela Brown-Burke has renewed the opposition's call for meaningful consultations with principals and teachers to ensure the development of a well-designed plan to address the major deficiencies that have contributed to underperformance and disengagement of students. Brownberg's statement follows the announcement that summer school will begin on Monday. Dr. Brownberg said she welcomed the inclusion of teachers who have been invited to make recommendations on student participation in the summer school program. She added that in cases where schools have lost contact with students, investigations may need to be done at the community level to ensure their engagement. However, Brownberg said the announcement left some important questions unanswered. She further stated that she is concerned that the voluntary nature of the summer school program makes it likely that those students who need additional help the most may not be the ones accessing the help. Continuing with the news tonight, the Transport Operators Development Sustainable Services is calling on the government to consider deferring the pending increase in toll fees at this time, bearing in mind the current state of the economy in the pandemic. The organization said the sector is unable to absorb another increase at this time, as it is already burdened with eight years of increased operating costs and no increase in fares to the commuting public. The organization further noted that a fare increase will soon be on the table as the increased cost to use the toll will push operators to about a 68% loss in daily operating costs. The group has close to 700 bus operators who use the toll as one of the main routes to the central south and western end of the island. And that's our news package for you tonight. Thank you for tuning in to Mello TV Evening News at 8. I am Shelly Ann Hill. Stay safe and pleasant viewing.